Good morning, makers. Welcome to Maker Studio Coffee and Crafting. Grab your favorite drink, and Amy has invited me today to share a project with you. My name's Christy. I own Joyful Art Studio in Northern California, bringing lots of fun art projects and DIYs to people in my area and also to you. So I'd love it if you join me over at my page, Joyful Art Studio with Christy, and you can find me on YouTube and at my website joyfulartstudio.net and we can have some creative fun together but today let's get started with our project so are you guys ready to see the amazing stencil that Amy has for us this week so today we are going to play with this new equestrian stencil that is being launched Look at all that amazing, fun detail. And so I thought with all these great patterns and designs, this will be the perfect piece to do a ceramic piece with. And I'm gonna do something fun for your watch or your trinkets that you might be able to keep on your dresser or in your restroom where you could put those things in the evening when you're done. And it could be for a guy or a girl it'll be a great gift also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see everything I'm doing. I don't want you to miss anything. And also don't forget that if you tag three people down below in the comments and give our video a share, Amy's going to give one of these away to one of you that watches it, even a replay. So go ahead, tell us if you're watching the replay, tell us if you're watching now. Let me know where you're from. I love hearing um, where everybody's joining us from and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, makers, here we go. So I have got a couple pieces that I just found these at World Market, inexpensive white porcelain dishes. And I thought it would be a fun little way to do a um, trinket tray, or I don't even know what those are called, but something to put your jewelry, your watches, and I'm thinking like a watch here, maybe some little bobbles or rings could go in the bowl. And since there's these really fun bands on this stencil, reminding us of the equestrian designs, I'm gonna slip that on out of here. I'm gonna leave my sturdy cardboard in there so I have a nice place to store that later. And then I'm just gonna kind of think about where I'm gonna to wanna to place these. So I feel like for my bowl, I would like a trim going around. So I'll probably use one of these, but I'm really loving this woven texture here. So I may do something on the diagonal. And as you know, we kind of play with it as we go and just kind of see what happens and um, have a good idea in the beginning, but be okay with the change. And so I am going to use today these ceramic paints and I have got this dark chocolate latte and this gold metallic. And I am going to go ahead and give these guys a trim because they're easier often to work with when they're not all on the big sheet. And I can kind of play with them and lay them out once I am, I'm hesitant to cut that one apart. <laughs> so I kind of really want to use a lot of this woven piece here, but I think I will cut one length off and leave this border there. And remember, you can always tape off your edges, which is why I have some painter's tape ear when it gets a little bit snug. So I'm going to peel my backing off and put it to the side because I definitely want to save that to keep it for storage. And I'm going to I think I'm going to do it like that. And so to prep this surface, I've done 
nothing except for I used a little bit of isopropyl alcohol just to wipe it away, make sure I had no grease or fingerprints or oils from my fingers, um, any residue to prevent my paints from adhere from to prevent my paints from adhering. I want them to have the best possible surface to dry on. And with these ceramic paints, they're great because you do not have to bake them and seal them. So many of the paints that are out on the market now for glass and ceramics are ones where you have to bake them in order to allow them to cure. And so I'm visually, I'm just kind of lining up, looking at the diagonal here. And if you really want to get particular, you could use the edge here. And what I'm kind of looking at on here is my woven lines. And honestly, most people will not notice. So I would not get too caught up in that. So I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna be using this strip here and I'm gonna use the brown and the gold and I'm giving these a good rub. I want to make sure it's well burnished and I don't want any of my paint to go underneath and cause it to bleed under there and make paint spots that I don't want. And today I actually am going to use a little bit of painter's tape, so I'm gonna make sure that is the right length. And I'm going to defuzz my painter's tape, and I'm just gonna put it on my apron to defuzz that, because I want it to um, not stick too much to my edge. So I'm just gonna line that up. It's gonna help me get really close to this one line here a lot more carefully. Start here, just my edge. I'm not gonna worry about that other side. There's not gonna be any paint there, okay? And this side, I think I'll be fine. It has a little bit more of a gap. So making sure this has a good burnish. And today you'll notice I don't have a squeegee here today. With these ceramic paints, I prefer to use a brush. It is, if you've ever used a gel paint before, you're gonna notice that the ceramic paint is slightly thicker than the gel paint. And so I feel like when you put it on there, you just get a better print through the stencil when you use a paintbrush. So this is one of those great paint brushes that Maker Studio has. And I'm just gonna start with my brown. And my plan is to do the brown on the woven part. And then I'm gonna use this line on the edge with some of this gold for a detail. And I'm just gonna kind of paint in all those little woven areas. And you know what? I need my glasses because this is some, these are little lines and I don't wanna miss it. Who else is out there needs glasses to finish up their fun craft projects? So. Where are you guys watching from? Tell me down below. Also, if you have any questions, put those down below too. And as soon as I am done here, I will make sure and check those out and help you out. If I'm not giving you as good of a detail as you would like, So these are kind of fun. I did not grow up around horses, but I dreamed of having a horse. I was one of those little girls that had like lots of horse toys. I thought I was gonna be a rider, but my parents, we just didn't live in an area that that was much of an option. We lived in a pretty city area and it wasn't my parents' work. So anyway, this kind of just reminds me of those times of me dreaming about being a horseback rider. So I've got all my brown filled in, I believe. I'm gonna kinda, there's a lot of shine on here from the plate, so I'm gonna move it and I'm noticing I see a little bit of white here. I'm going to get that 
And then I'm gonna wash out my brush. I like to, when I wash out my brush, I like to paint out the excess on my paper towel first. And that just really helps it get cleaner faster. And it prevents any residue there in my brush. Sometimes if the paint's thick, it has a harder time coming out. So I'm putting in my water bath and then I'm gonna dry it off real well because I do not want to mix any of the paint with water. I don't want it diluted at all. I'm gonna come in here with this gold and this gold is a little bit thicker than my brown. So I definitely wanna apply that with a brush. So I'm gonna come in here on my little palette and you can see it's got a little bit thicker consistency. It's just from the pigments and the paint, but I'm gonna dab it all on here on my edging. What ideas do you have that you might use this stencil for? It would be really pretty. The woven part would be really pretty on a wooden frame or on a trim for a bag. What other things do you think it would be great for? I'm sure people that are around horses more than myself have lots of fun ideas. I mean, you could even put it on leather, on fabric. That's what's so great about these stencils. They're so versatile, you can use them on fabric, on upholstery fabric, on glass. It'd be really pretty on some glasses. Um, use it on wood. The possibilities are really endless. And that you could reuse these stencils over and over is such an awesome benefit. So I'm getting that gold in here. And I'm getting this last little bit. And even though the gold is a little bit more thick in consistency, those little thicker parts really blend out nicely. So I'm going to wash out this brush. This ceramic paint does dry faster, so I wanna make sure and get my stencil washed out in my brush. I don't want to dry in there. Okay, guys, here's the best part. Are you ready? Making, here we go. Ooh, that's super pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna dunk this in my water bath over here, and then later I'll go and give it a soft wash in the sink. So look how nice that looks. Awesome. And that'll be a nice embellishment. That looks really masculine and um, that's going to be great. So what I'm going to do is this is going to dry overnight and you don't need to heat set it, cure it, just keep it somewhere where it's not going to smudge so the paint can cure. And then I have this other strip here and I think what I'll do is I like these little designs here and forgive me I cannot remember what that part is on the saddle where the feet go <laughs> I don't remember help me out down here help me out in the comments what are those called all my horse people with horses and familiar with horse tack I'm gonna get this around here and I'll have to do it in two goes. So I'm gonna do this first part and then I will um, do the other part of the bowl later and show you a picture of it. And there's a little bit of a bow to it, so I'm gonna kinda of have to work it as I go, but that's okay. It'll just take a little more patience. It's still gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna do this front side and then I will do it off camera because it'll be the same way. I'm just going to be cleaning it and then shifting it. And some projects, that is what we've got to do. I think I will use the gold on the, the stirrups. They're called the stirrups. I just remembered. Did I get it right? Okay, let's get some. Actually, I'm going to do the brown on this little line here kind of a little bit backwards, but the gold on the stirrups, I think that'll be a nice accent. So.
working my way around. And I'm kind of making sure as I go, I'm rolling my bowl in my hand so I can go ahead and get those slight wrinkles. Clean out my brush. And I'll show you this little part. So make sure if you want to win one of these, you are tagging three friends so they can come over and watch our videos here. There's so many fun makers that are sharing projects on Coffee with Crafting and, and then Amy gets on here and shares some awesome projects. So there's so many good things happening here on the Maker Studio page that I know people would appreciate you sharing it and letting them in on all the goodness. So here we go. I'm just gonna do these last little pieces. And I didn't feel like I needed to tape this one off. It was a little bit more of a border there with the black of the stencil. Just do this last one. So it's easier to position for the next strip. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to wash out my stencil because since this paint does dry quicker, I do not want any of that drying in the mesh because it will make it really hard to clean it out. Go. Isn't that pretty? All right, so I'm going to finish this up and turn my camera up so you can uh, see the whole project finished. All right, hey makers. So, what do you think? Isn't that super pretty? I love it. And then I'm going to finish this back part off and then take some great photos and show you what it looks like sitting there with all of our goodies in the evening that we take off from the day and then you know exactly where they are the next day but thanks for joining us i hope you remember to tag down below three people and give us a share so you can have your chance to win an awesome stencil that amy is giving away and i look forward to the rest of the projects this week from the other makers with coffee and crafting and thanks again amy for having me have a great day